Hello everyone, I am Arvind Kumar Sharma and welcome back to Pabli. So today I am going to tell you how you can create contact in Zoho Begin for Facebook leads. Now Facebook, you all know about Facebook, I do not have to tell you and Zoho Begin is a CRM tool mostly used by small businesses but now medium and large size businesses are also using this. Now what is happening here, whenever we are going to have a new lead through our Facebook ads, what will happen? the details will automatically go to our Zoho Begin account and a new contact will be created based on those details. Very easy and very amazing automation. Now to do this automation, we are going to use an integration and automation service, Pavli Connect, which will help us connect Facebook and Zoho Begin together. Now, if you want to learn how to do this automation, you have to come with me to the screen. And we are back at our screen. So what we have to do, we have to go to the address bar and type in P-A-B-B-L-Y, Pavli.com slash connect and then press enter and as soon as we will do that you will see we will have these two options either you can sign in or you can sign up if you already have an account here you can just go for sign in if you do not have an account you have to go for sign up signing up is absolutely free and we are also giving you 100 free tasks every month okay now what i am going to do here i am just going to go and sign in because i already have an account here so what i am going to do i am just going to click on access now for pebbly connect and here what I'm going to do, you can see here, these are all the automations I have. I'll just go to create workflow and here I am going to give my workflow a name. So here we are going to name it Facebook lead ads to Zoho begin. Okay. Now I am creating these two applications, Facebook and Zoho here. So I'll just uh, name it this. You can name it whatever you want to. I'll just click on create. After clicking on create, what I'm going to do, you can see here we have two windows. First one is trigger. Second one is action. So trigger window is the window where an event is happening at the start of the process. And action window is the window where an event is happening at the end of the process or when the final event is happening. So what is happening in our trigger event? We are having Facebook lead ads. So we will go for Facebook. And here we are going to go for Facebook lead ads. Then what we are going to do, the trigger event is new lead. So we will go for new lead and then we will click on connect. After that, go for add new connection, connect with Facebook lead ads. After that, it will ask you for the authorization and you have to give the authorization to Pabli Connect. And let me tell you once again, Pabli Connect does not take any chances with your data and your data with Pabli Connect is absolutely safe. So here what I'm going to do, let me just show you first my Facebook page. So this is my Facebook page here. Let me just go back. And you can see this is home. This is my Facebook page here. Automation testing, book review, fit body gym and Pebbly tech. And same is here, fit body gym, Pebbly tech, book review and automation testing. Now if we will click on book review and here also if I will click on book review, you will see I will have to go to all tools. Then I will go to instant forms. And here I have this contact form new. So what I'm going to do, I am going to fill out this contact form new. Let me just refresh it once. And when I will con uh, uh, when I will fill out this contact form new, I will have a response in my Pabli Connect account because I have here uh, contact form new selected. So I will just go here. I will just go here. I'll click on contact form new. And here I will click on test form and now I will click on new entries. So here what I'm going to do, I'm just going to delete all these. First name is my name Arpit. Last name is Sharma. Email is arpitsharma at the rate gmail.com and number I'm again going to use a dummy number here and then I will click on next and then I will click on submit and as soon as I will click on submit I'll go here and click on save and send test request and here you can see when I will click on send, uh, save and send test request I will have this data here Arpit Sharma email is this phone number is this which means our first step of connecting our Facebook lead ads to our Pabli Connect account is now complete now what we have to do we have to go for the next step which is Zoho begin so we will go for Zoho begin here and then action event. So what we are doing here, we are creating a contact. Now, let me tell you one thing. First, whenever we are going to connect Zoho Begin, 
Zoho Begin will ask you for the information uh, about your first name and last name. But here, in our, uh, what should I say, in our uh, Facebook lead ads, sometimes what will happen, right now here I have my first name and last name as uh, uh, separate values, but sometimes when you are making a form, you can have a first name and last name all together. So what you can do, you can just uh, insert a field here, which is the field of a split text by using a text formatter and then you can split both the text, your first name and last name uh, in the separate values and in separate fields and then you can use it in Zoho Begin, okay? Now here what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go for connect with Zoho Begin. It is asking me for the account. So it is Zoho.in. So the domain is Zoho.in. So I'll just go for Zoho.in copy and I will paste it here and click on save. Now it will ask me for the authorization. So again, I'm telling you, give it the authorization. Data with Pebbly Connect is absolutely safe and you do not have to worry about it. <coughs> now you can see here it is written owner. Now first name, last name, email address. So what we are going to do, we are going to use a technique which is called mapping and mapping will let us take the data from this window and it will let us put the data here in this window. So I'll just go for Arpit, which is the first name. Sharma, which is the last name, email address is Arpit Sharma at the rate gmail.com. Mobile number was a dummy number. And I am not using any phone number, company name, description, mailing street, etc. etc. here because I did not have these fields in my form. I am just going to click on save and send test request. And as soon as I will do that, you can see the data code is success, which means a new contact has been created. So what we are going to do <coughs> here. We are going to go back to our Zoho Begin and here I am just going to show you the contacts. So we will go to contacts and here you can see a new contact has been created Arpit Sharma, Arpit Sharma at the rate gmail.com, Parker Devin 289, Parker Devin 289 is the owner obviously. So you can see uh, we used the mobile number, we did not use phone number. So here we have mobile number. And here it is showing the field of phone number. So do not get panic. You have every detail you want to through your form. Okay. Now <clears throat> what we are going to do, we are go, uh, again going back here and we are going to try this again with a, with an another user or with an another lead. So let me just go back here. Contact form new. We will go for test form again. And here, let me just replace this Arpit by the name Swati. We are going to keep Sharma same. Here also let me just replace it with the Swati Sharma and we are going to keep the phone number same. Okay. Let us just click on connect and then we will click on submit. And as soon as we will do that, you will see in our Zoho begin. Here is Arpit Sharma. Here is Ted Watson. And as soon as I will click refresh, we will have Swati Sharma here in some time. Now, why is not Swati Sharma here right now? Because when we are using Facebook, to send data from Facebook to any other application, we are using a trigger which is called polling and polling trigger will take some time to send the data from Facebook to the another application. So let us just wait for some time and let's see in how much time our data comes. And as you can see, I have this Swati Sharma here and let me tell you, it took me two minutes to get this data. After two minutes, I got this data Swati Sharma, Swati Sharma at the rate gmail.com. And when I will open this, you can see every information here, the phone number and all these other information. So <clears throat> this is how you can make this automation where whenever you have a new Facebook lead through your Facebook lead ads, an automatic contact will be created in your Zoho Begin and then you can use it as well. So if you want to clone this automation and if you love this automation, you can just go into my description box and clone this workflow into your account. But for that, you need to have an account and for that, you need to go and sign up. Signing up is absolutely free and we are also giving you 100 free tasks every month. So do not wait, go and sign up now. Hasta la vista. So thanks a lot for watching our video. I hope you understood everything. Now if you want any other events to edit in our module, what you can do is you can mail us at admin at the rate pebbly.com. If you have any queries regarding this software, you can just ask your queries at this website at this link. And if you want to check the prices, you can visit here to this link and check the prices of the software. Now I just want to tell you 
you that automation is a boon for us and it can change the future and i will you know suggest you to take this as quickly as possible which will ease your task save your time and save you a lot and lot of efforts thank you